Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lamriel. Welcome to Elder Scrolls Online. We're currently on a mission to talk uh, to Abner Thorn. The Thorn speaks quest, and there's Abner Thorn right there. Surprisingly, he is, I think, disguised in the Mage's Guild, so nobody really knows about him. And I mean, he does have magical abilities, so it does make sense. And I just realized that there's a map of Cyrodiil right over here, with the main city here, with the riverbed, and around here, I think there was uh, either Kvach. No, Kvach was somewhere here. And that would be Anvil right there. I remember this place. I seriously do. This is so cool. I wonder if I can actually see it on a big map. So map. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, Cyrodiil. Let's see. Yeah, I remember. This is the main hub, the Imperial City. And down here, let's see. What is this city called again? I remember this was like one of the port cities, and out here was the uh, the place of Shogorath, where people could like I don't know, come out and check. Not Shogorath. God, what is it called again? Yeah, yeah. No, there was a gate of Shogorath right there. And up here was, let's see, down there was Anvil. Yeah, the, down there was Anvil. I think this is another village. I think Kvatch was, that was not Kvatch, that was something something else. God, I remember uh, Bruma. Yeah, this is Bruma. I remember this is Bruma. And right here was the the temple of the, the Blades, right? I think. God, it's just so memorable. I need to go through and replay Oblivion or something because I'm starting to forget some of these places anyway. Let's go ahead and talk to Abner Thorn. Ah, excellent, you got my message. Apparently that little creature isn't completely useless. Banekin can be such children. I hope you've nothing pressing, we could be here a while. Yeah, uh, Thorn, why are you dressed like that? I can't be strutting around the city wearing my imperial regalia, can I? Your concern about my fashion sense is touching but irrelevant. I've called you here for a reason. If we are to determine a course of action, we need more information. Hmm. What are you talking about? Yeah, see, my theory was right. He's just trying to disguise himself. By now, it should be clear your prophet emperor brought these catastrophic events upon us. Everything that transpired is his fault. Menemarco deceived him. It wasn't his fault. Granted. Menemarco can be very persuasive and charismatic when he wants to be. We all believed him when he said we could change Varen's bloodline with the Amulet of Kings. Then why did you blame Baron? You saved Varen's life when you rescued him in Cold Harbor. In return, he lied to you about his true identity and his part in causing the Soul Burst. He manipulated you from the very start. Perhaps the better question is, why don't you blame Varen? Hmm. Well, you know what, just, just tell me what you call me here. Varen wants to assemble a new group of companions in the vein of the original five. Claims it fulfills a prophecy in those wretched scrolls of his. Superstitious nonsense, but he is quite correct on one point. We need to find Sai Sahan. Why is Sai Sahan so important? In the chaos following the Soul Burst, Sahan stole the Amulet of Kings and fled the Imperial City. We're going to need that relic, and he is the only one who knows its current location. Alright, where is Sai Sahan right now? He was captured by Minimarko's agents and taken to an undisclosed location. Hmm. We need to find out where he's being held. What do you need me to do? Menemarco keeps his most secret documents at Knife Ear Grotto in Deshan, inside a hidden lair of Daedric cultists. We must travel there and search for clues. I'll set out once and meet you. I'll set out at once and meet you there. Head to Knife Ear Grotto in the eastern mountains of Deshan. I will meet you inside. All right, cool. We could ask him some questions. Let's see what kind of questions. If I can endure Titanborn's inane prattle, I can survive your assuredly erudite elucidations. Proceed. Hmm. I guess what will happen to you now that you're back? Ah, there's the rub. With my untimely defection, my family will likely be divested of its holdings. The name Tharn is probably being stricken from every document in the Imperial Archives as we speak. I detest being on the wrong side of history. Okay, have you really lost everything? Don't sound so smug about it. This is a setback, nothing more. By allying with you, I will liberate the Empire from Menemarko's grip. The Empire is all that matters to me. I will do what I must to ensure its survival. Isn't your daughter the Empress Regent? I, is she? Clivia. She is comfortably lodged in Menemarko's pocket, along with my nephew, Jabard. I doubt they've given my disappearance a second thought. Ah, fair Clivia. My charming girl grew to be a ruthlessly ambitious woman. I taught her well. Alright, I guess that's really much all really I can really ask of him. Alright, so what do we gotta go? Thorn speak. Search for information in that your grotto. 
to? What would that be on a map? Show on map. That is Nafia Grotto. Where's Nafia Grotto would be at? Somewhere here? Nafia Grotto, Nafia Grotto, Nafia Grotto, Nafia Grotto. Is it a dungeon that I've yet unlocked? I don't see it at the moment. Knife Eo Grotto, Knife Eo Grotto, Knife Eo Grotto. This is not of it. This is, yeah, this is none of it. Tribunal Temple, Dungeon, Darkshade Caverns. No, it's not it either. Knife Eo Grotto, Sondomo. Where's that at? Here, hold on one sec. Let me read the journal. Abnath Arms asked me to travel to a place called Nafia Grotto in Deshan, which is believed to be a place where Monomarcos keeps the cache secret information. Okay, so it isn't Deshan. Okay, this is Deshan. Yeah, Deshan. Knife Eo Grotto. Knife Eo Grotto. Deep Crag Den. Governor of the Nation. Forgotten Crypts. Where is the Knife Eo Grotto? I thought I saw Knife Eo Grotto before here. Just came to seem. Can't seem to find it at the moment. Maybe I just gotta port then, I'll find it. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's port down the middle here somewhere and hopefully we'll find it. Let's fast travel over there. Wow, I haven't seen the fast travel. Oh wow, that's actually kinda cool. Actually casting a spell and everything. Now we're fast traveling. <laughs> I haven't done that in forever. Damn. Alright, well, hopefully when we get there, it will show us where we gotta head over to and then we can go over there and try to complete the quest. That should be pretty fun. I haven't really done any main quests in a while, but I, we have progressed pretty far in levels. Okay, now figure out is this way. Oh, there, that's where it is. I think that's where it is. Thorn speaks. Yeah, that's where it's gonna be at. Let's use the way shrine, one way shrine to teleport to another way shrine. Let's do that. Let's go to this way shrine. Oh, what's going on with my mouse here? There we go. For some reason, it just wasn't going up and down. Every now and then I need to like readjust the wiring for my mouse. I don't know what it is. On certain days it works fine. On others, I feel like it's a little bit of dust gets into the mouse and just kind of ruins everything. Alright, now that we're here, let's go ahead and uh, use the... There we go. Let's go man up our horse and start over to Knife Eo Grotto. And why are we glowing? <laughs> I don't know why we're glowing. We just turned to light bulb that for a sec. Not sure why. Oh, I've been to the Knife Eo Grotto before. I just haven't really explored it. I've been around the area. I remember this now. Yeah, it's all coming back to me little by little. Let's see. Knife Eo Grotto, Knife Eo Grotto. Where art thou, Knife Eo Grotto? Should be around here. Yep, something's happening to us. Not sure what, though. Oop, some enemies over there. Let's just go ahead and avoid them. Let's see. It should be somewhere around across here. Well, I got a book as well. Before the Age of Man Dawn era. Let's read this. Mage came to Tamriel. Okay, that's just lore book. Backpack has nickel and something with it. We got a dagger. Steel dagger, just a regular dagger, nothing to worry about. Alright, let's head into the grotto. Knife your grotto. Let's look for some information around here. Only this. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna read the flavor text on the bottom, but kind of whizzed by real fast. Now the Daedric looking area. Oh, the only. Let's get started. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hi, buddy. And there's another player here. All right, let's go look, uh, search through the knife Il grotto here. What have we got? Fair warning. Greetings, traveler. I pose this warning into the hope that you will heed it. This ruin is overrun with a number of dangerous Daedra and their followers. Do not venture forth, excuse me, unless you're adequately armed and prepared. Continue reading. If, however, you do choose to venture into the cave, keep your eyes open for anything of value. I reward you for recovering any artifact that I could not, that I could not. Find me at the Daedric ruins near Narsus. A rally on the scholar. I should gather us an artifact to find. We'll see if we can find something around here. Alright. For the sake of it though, I'll keep my wits at myself and see if I can help the people around here with whatever they got. And see if, I don't know, I can just travel around with a bunch of people. Let's see, we should probably head over, yep, we should probably head over upstairs here. See what we can look for. We got looks like a Binkin up there. Hey Binkin. Hey bud. Well, he's dead. <laughs> God, we just roaming with a pack of people that's running around doing nothing. Speaking stone. You will not break me, King of Worms. I can and I shall. Where is the amulet of kings? You cannot break the will of a son of Yakuda. I spit on you. So, 
Saisahan is alive and he has not been broken. An important piece of the puzzle to be sure, but where is he being kept? I don't know. Wow, it actually like, lights up his face. Oh wow, that's so cool. I didn't know that this game had like this kind of good light physics. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's follow the rest of the party here. Clearly they don't know what they're doing. I'm just gonna trail them back. <laughs> it's kinda nice, you know, just running with other players that clearly they know what they're doing and I don't have to worry about a single thing. I can help them out for sure, which I will do, definitely. And I can take some of the loot with me as well. Let's see, I'm gonna take the charge here. I'm gonna do this. And set people on fire. Man, the damage is unreal. And there's Dushasa. I might take a first hit here. See if I can help him out. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. I'm like in a party, like in a little dungeon party on my own. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I can get some loot. Hell yeah. Oh man, she actually has a, a lot of loot. Whoa, that's a lot. What else we got? Daedric artifact. Oh, I can take that back. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Alright, let's see. Uh, I could probably head over here. I think that's another piece of the puzzle. Oh, somebody attacked me? Nope, we're good. <laughs> There's a the speaking stone. Chimel Adabar, the amulet of the kings of glory, an artifact of the divines, a badge of office for the ruling emperors of Cyrodiil, and the key to my ascendancy. Yet it eludes me. Exploiting its power to bring about the calamity of our age was intoxicating. It made me aware of the limitless possibilities available to one strong enough and fearless enough to use it to achieve his own ends. The amulet has the power to create or destroy, but it also has the power to undo the damage caused by the soul burst, to mend the tear in the barrier between Nern and Oblivion. I must recover it before some fool fixes that which must remain broken. He knows of our plan to use the amulet to set things right. We must rescue Sai Sahan before he can be broken. Alright, sounds good. Alright guys, let's go over to this area. What else we got? We got another speaking stone? Okay, let's use that. Lots of dead people near the speaking stones. Kinda the eerie. Guard's iron will cannot be overcome with standard interrogation techniques. Oh. Physical torture is a fear to be useless. I have therefore instructed the Daedra to move Sai Sahan into the Halls of Torment. The Duchess will be most pleased to have a new... guest. His flesh is strong, but perhaps her tortures of the mind will break him. I have come too far to allow this upstart swordmaster to thwart my plans. I will find the amulet, one way or another. This is the information we've been looking for. Really? Okay, well, I guess, I, apparently guys, we found something. So the art, that's why they're there. That's why he was chained up and everything. He's been tortured. At last. Sai Sahan has been taken to the Halls of Torment. Oh, that's the information. Okay, gotcha. Do you know where that is? Oh, yes. It's Cold Harbor's most nefarious prison. The Daedra in the Halls of Torment reach deep into the dark places of a prisoner's mind and torture them with apparitions of the things they most dread. That sounds like a lot like what happened to Liss. Oh god, if I were there, I, I, I could just see spiders left and right. <laughs> Jesus, that'd be terrifying. It's an effective tactic. The Daedra mock our emotional attachments and the memories that form our sense of self. Daedra have no use for such things. They are immortal. It's impossible to kill Daedra. They simply reform over time. We need to rescue Saisa Han. Can you get us to the Halls of Tournament? Of course I can. I am Abnathan. But first, I have a bit more research to do. Go back to the Harbridge and tell Varen what we've discovered. I'll meet you there once I've made the necessary preparations. Very well. Alright, so he's gonna do that. And he disappears through the portal oblivion. Can we go? Nope, I guess we can't. Never mind. <laughs> guess we've been left out of the portal. Alright, let's see if we can head over back to the Harbridge. I think it's here? Harbridge, Harbridge, Harbridge. Authors, Harbridge. I'm just gonna go ahead and recall there with the 180 gold. That shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna head over there myself. I like the whole teleportation mechanic, like we just bow and everything, and just like that, we'll pray to the deity up above to teleport us somewhere. I think that's what we do. We use some sort of like teleportation magic. I like it, it's really neat.
Alright, so find out what Saya Sahan is. So probably be able to fast travel there or teleport there eventually uh, into Cold Harbor and see if you can rescue him. Hopefully he doesn't break and lots of people have not loaded yet. <laughs> Let me go ahead and go inside. Alright, so now that we know his location, we know how to we know we can sort of get there, hopefully with Abner Thorne's help. Hopefully he doesn't betray us, because it's still a little sketch working with him, because he did kind of screw us over before. But we're gonna see what happens. We gotta deal with the man of Marco and hopefully rescue so uh Sai Sahan and get the band of adventurers back together for uh Varen. There's Varen over here, let's let him know exactly what happened. An unexpected visit. What brings you back, Vestige? Tharn and I discovered what they where they keep inside Zahan. At last. Where can he be found? A prison in Cold Harbor called the Halls of Torment. Well done. I will begin searching for a safe route to the Halls of Torment immediately. Is there anything else? I was going to say that a river flows and we are slaves to its current. But I am done with riddles and metaphors. I don't know what awaits us. I'm not a prophet. I'm just a foolish old man who glimpsed the wisdom of the scrolls and survived. But you can find a path to the Halls of Torment, can't you? When Tarn returns, we will combine our resources. We will find a path to these Halls of Torment soon enough. Okay, so we got the Thorn family ring and one skill point. Nice! Alright, All the, you know, I'll gladly take it. Let's see, where is it? Uh, adds 29 spell damage. Ooh. That's really good. I think I'm gonna replace with Artifact Hunter's Band. Let's see, Artifact Hunter's Band. There we go. Sweet. Nice. Very, very nice. And we also got a skill point we can spend. I think what we could do is maybe give it to. What have we not done yet? Father's Guild, we have Intimidation. Mage's Guild, we have Persuasion. Alright, good. Uh, reduced magic and health cost by Mage's Guild abilities by 8. Ooh, not bad actually. Slayer, increase weapon damage skills, we don't need that. Circle of Protection. Uh, brand the earth at your location with a rune to protection. Allies in the target area gain minor protection, reducing damage taken by 8. Allies are granted additional 4% damage reduction against Daedra and Undead. Ooh, that would be really nice to have for the uh, for the melee weapons. It just What would I replace it with? I guess I could replace it with Spear of Shards whenever I'm not... You know, when, when I'm in a group or something. This would be kind of cool, actually. So, everybody will get mono protection, reducing damage taken by 8%. That's really, really good. Uh, hell of a lot better than the stun, that's for sure. Stamina plus speed shot restore to him. Although this does restore stamina, it's very nice. I kind of like that as well. Oh, God, what did I put this into? So good, it's so good, I don't know what to put into. Maybe resolve? That could be pretty good. Give us extra... Uh, increase the armor for each piece of heavy armor. We could do that. Although we also could do light armor. Magical cost, increased magical recovery by 2% per piece of light armor. God, it's so, so difficult to choose the proper abilities. Although we could improve shield charge. Whoa, that would be a good thing to do. Let's do that. Adds damage shield or increases stun duration. Adds damage shield. Your shield, your shield from damage after the attack absorbing damage for 6 seconds. Ooh, that'd be real nice. You know, let's do that. That's actually really good. Let's move the ability. Hell yeah! Now we got upgrades. Alright, cool. So now that's really that's it done with? Apparently so. Fair warning for level 23. Talk to Arvelan the Scholar. No posted on entrance. Oh yeah, we do gotta do this. Show on map. Let's uh come back here. Talk to Arvelan the Scholar and see if he can continue the quest over. I kinda want to use a fast travel. Because there's no fast travel here. That's a, that's a problem. So, bookshelf, no, there's nothing here. There's no fast run from here, so I have to go outside and use a way shrine that's pretty close by, and the only way shrine is over there. Kinda wanna use the money. We do have much money to be got. Eh, I could probably use a little bit of it. <laughs> Why not? You know, this. here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this, fast travel to this fast travel location, to the way shrine, use a little bit of money because it's it's okay, we can use some of it. It's alright. It's it's there to spend, so we're gonna spend it. Not the wisest thing we ever done, but eh, it'll, it'll be okay, don't worry about it. And we'll continue on with the research, see if we can get some experience from that, because it is, you know, around our level, so it'd be nice to do that kind of quest instead of doing something high level. And after that, we'll come back to the swamps and see if we can... Well, not really swamps. <laughs> it's kind of rude to call them the swamps. What are they called again? It's Shadowfen. We'll come back to Shadowfen and see what we can do there. 
Let's go around like this, excuse me. Alright, summon the horse. There you are. My lovely seed and enemies spawn. Right there in front of us. So we should probably go ahead and deal with them, actually. What have we got here? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's do this. Back away. And charge. Hell yeah. Oh, Deidre are dead. And now we gotta deal with this Demora and a Daedroth. We'll deal with the Demora first. Okay, this can be easily done with, no problem. Let's see if we can freeze them? No, we can't freeze them. We can't create an AoE around them. Nice, that was done with. Oh, somebody else helps out. Sweet, we didn't really get anything from it, did we? Alright, well, it's fine. Let's go over to the researcher and present him whatever we found in the caves with, uh, with Abner Tharn. And see what he can give us. It's probably start. Hopefully, it starts another quest chain for us. That'd be absolutely lovely. Actually, I will really enjoy that. Okay, match. Okay, relax, relax. I'm not here to hurt you guys. I'm just here to talk to a researcher because clearly he wants something from us. Hello, buddy. Oh, didn't mean to roll there. What's this Daedric ruin doing here? What's its purpose? Oh God, is that blood coming out of my hair? What? God, this guy seems crazy. I found your note and an artifact you might be interested in. Oh, cool. This is a very rare Daedric beard pot. Massive Dramor would wear these suspended by chains around their necks to protect their lustrous beards. Isn't it fascinating? Here's your reward. A beard pot, excuse me? Wait, that, that's it? Wow, that was very anticlimactic. Okay, apparently, uh, we found the ancient beer pod. Okay, Mitch, okay, okay. I'm going, I'm leaving. Don't worry about it. 